Hey, welcome back friends, Mark here. Today's video review is going to be a little bit different than what I typically um, review and demonstrate. Now, if you've watched my channel for a bit, you've seen me outside doing some grilling videos and some cooking and also reviewing some blades and steel tools, things like that. So, for now in the kitchen, what I've done to cut up food and prepare it, I have a couple Wusthof German steel knives, an 8 inch chef's knife, and a 7 inch Santoko knife. So what I've been doing so far to prepare my food is I have a cutting board and then I do the cutting action like that. Now one thing is when you're cutting with a knife on a board, each time you push down and you hit that board, it does dull the knife slightly. So this does require sharpening. Today's video is the Mandolin Slicer by the Simply Fine Company. And the one beautiful thing about a Mandolin Slicer is you get perfect even cuts all the time. You can julienne uh, different food. And the blades never hit anything but the food. So it's not hitting like a cutting board or anything like that. So the blades are razor sharp and they will stay sharp for a long time because they are only touching food. So. A lot of the food that you cut is rather soft in nature, so it's not like you're cutting bones like when I'm like, cutting a chicken apart and I hit a bone. So I expect many years of great use out of this. And I got a couple quick things I'm going to make and demonstrate showing you this, how it works. So stay tuned, let's go in the kitchen and test it out. So I'd like to show you the box, Simply Fine. Supreme Mandolin Slicer, Ultra Sharp Fruit and Vegetable Slicer with Julienne Blades. Eat More Fresh is the slogan they're going with. They're branding. Alright, it's quick, built to last, great adaptable feet agility, easily washes clean, stands firmly with great agility. Get the family to eat more healthy vegetable snacks. Here are the safety gloves, level 5 cutting safety. I believe they have Kevlar in them. They're size large. That's the largest glove they offer. I wear an extra large glove, but those gloves do stretch out some, so it works out fine. Now this is my unboxing part where I've taken everything out of the box the first time, and you can see right here is the food holder. It's a guard. It has little spikes that hold on to like the potato or carrots as you slide across the sharp blade. And here we have the inserts and they are stored in this four pack holder. The fifth one is actually locked into the mandolin slicer itself. This one's a little bit smaller. It has a julienne blade for like hash browns, things like that. Maybe matchstick carrots. This one's a little bit larger size julienne blade. And the other blades are just different thicknesses, like 1.5 millimeter, 2.5, 3.5. Okay. So here's a meal I'm going to make with the mandolin slicer. I've started some chicken right here in the wok, and I had it in some marinade and some sauce. And I'm getting that going first, so I'm going to add some vegetables. You can see I already sliced the carrots. Here's what I marinated the chicken with. This stuff is amazing. You can see the sesame seeds at the top. So what I'm doing here is cutting a bell pepper for the first time. And I was thinking of using the food guard. I didn't realize at the time that I could have turned the pepper upside down and put it in that food holder and it would have worked fine. But I have my safety gloves on and I'm just gently going across, keep my fingers away from the blade and I'm getting several slices with this red pepper. Look how fast I get these really nice even cuts. I think I had the two and a half millimeter blade. And then I'm just gonna cut it up into some smaller pieces. All right, so I'm gonna slice up some mushrooms and you really can't use the holder for that. The guard you have to use your gloves and just be careful you don't go down too far so you you don't want to actually cut your gloves here I'm slicing a carrot and there you can definitely use the food guard 
and I took the chicken out of the wok so I can add the vegetables in there. So I have the peppers, mushrooms, and carrots. I'm going to add a little oil in there and close the lid. Let that cook separately from the chicken for a little bit. Now I'm adding the chicken, which was already, I just recently pre-cooked it. And I'm going to mix it together and let it go for about eight minutes with the lid on and then it'll be time to serve. And here we are. Notice the cool plate for my son Sawyer. I'm going to serve him first. There's the stir fry with chicken and this is a cool little gadget I have for cooking rice. The Zojirushi rice cooker. Dinner served. Okay friends, so this concludes my video review of the Simply Fine Mandolin Slicer. And I just want to read a few comments that I found on the Amazon review site for this and also some of my own comments as well. So number one, this is a serious tool. It has razor sharp blades, so always wear your gloves and use that holder whenever possible. This is very solid and stable. Um, that's just a, a positive comment about it. It's easy to change the blades, it's easy to clean. If you do put in your dishwasher, just be careful when you're reaching in there. There, if it, you grab like the Julienne blades, those are razor sharp, so just be careful loading and unloading your dishwasher. This has a V blade in it, which I did not mention. There's a picture right there, it's kind of hard to see. The V blade style is the best, so um, I'm glad that it has that and not like a blade that just goes straight across. And a mandolin slicer, it just gives you a consistent cut. It, it ensures a great presentation to your food. It just adds a little panache. All right, a couple recommendations that I'd like to make to the manufacturer. It's a little hard to see the number of the blades, each one that you insert. Um, like there's a 1.5, 2.5. The, there's no color contrast between the two, either a color contrast or a larger font. A bolder font would be nice. Um, it's just a little small and hard to see. And yeah, the blade storage, yep, it's that's nice. Everything fits inside this box, so that's great. So I definitely give it a thumbs up. It works very well. And if you have some comments, please put those down below. If you enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up. It would help support my channel. That's it, my friends. Thanks for watching. See you next time. All right, I hope you like this video. If you do, I think you might like a few of those to the right. Click on those. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, click on that red button down below. And check me out on Twitter and Instagram. All right, thanks for watching. Enjoy.